let's do it. Oh, I am sweating. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Imogen. If you are new here, it's very nice to meet you. I have never ever started a YouTube video like that. I hope this background isn't too messy, like there's just too many things to look at. You can look at a wide variety of pictures of me and my friends and family enjoy. Today's video I'm going to be doing a university halls tour. I am currently studying acting for film at the University of Chichester and I have been staying in on-campus halls. This video is for anyone that is thinking of coming to the University of Chichester and will be staying in halls to see what they look like, what they include, the laundry, the kitchen, the toilets, the rooms, the hallway, the you get the idea. And even if you are not coming to the University of Chichester, Chichester, this may give you a little idea of how to decorate your room maybe, if you just wanna watch it to get ideas for your halls of residence in wherever university you are studying. Just a little note before I go into the video, I have not shown the inside of the laundry blocks purely because there were people in there every time I tried to film it and I didn't want to just go in with the camera like filming the washing machines because people would have been like are you alright? <laughs> so just to give you a quick little brief of what is in the laundry block it is pretty simple there is just three washing no sorry four washing machines and four tumble dryers a wash is two pounds each and a tumble dry is one pound each time each load i haven't eaten all day so i think i'm going a bit crazy i'm going to keep this intro short and sweet and hopefully you enjoy this video you get an idea of what the halls of residence are like at this university on campus enjoy the video the front door this is what you see there are four rooms in these halls so we have a phone here but it doesn't actually it doesn't actually work and then you have the first bedroom second bedroom third bedroom and then my bedroom here and then the kitchen is in here So we have automatic lights. So this wasn't actually the layout of our kitchen slash dining room when we first started. We've changed it all about. I can't actually remember what it was like beforehand, but I think the table was over there. The chairs were lined up there maybe or something, but basically you can just redo it however you want. We've just experimented with a lot of different things and this works out best for us. So you just have a standard table with four chairs. It actually looks down to the laundry block um, where all the washing machines and tumble dryers are that I will show you later. And then we have five chairs, standard, and a little table. And that's our board game that we made because we do 
get bored sometimes and so we just created a drinking game and then we're not going to talk about that and then you have an ironing board but you don't have an iron so you'd need to bring your own iron if you are a fan of ironing I don't know a broom and a dustpan and brush we just keep them there radiator recycling bin that gets changed both bins so there's the normal bin there's the recycling i think they get changed is it every other day or twice a week maybe i'm not sure but they do get changed regularly then we have our freezer and fridge we all have our own shelf kind of top one's my shelf um and then yeah it just goes down and then you have all of these here this would highly recommend getting a filter for water if you're coming to university because a lot of the time university water from the taps does not taste very nice so it would be nice to filter out your water and then you have four freezer shelves as well so that works really well um, then you have your oven just a standard oven microwave um, what are they called? Why? <laughs> cupboard! That's what it's cupboard. Um, why am I forgetting the names of everything in this video? What is that called? I'm being so thick right now. You, you know what it is. Whatever. More cupboards. More cupboards. Toaster kettle. They come with it sink this ah oh this tap does drip and it is extremely annoying and you can no matter how hard you push the things it still drips so you're just gonna have to get used to that there is a lot of cupboards um a lot of cupboard space in on campus accommodation well at least in Chilgrove and anywhere that has the same layout as Chilgrove, there is a lot of cupboard space. We don't use all of these cupboards. Um, we plan it out so three cupboards going down, there's four sets of them, so we use that as to put our food in. So these three are mine, those three are Chelsea's, etc. etc. And then we just use the other cupboards for pots and pans and cutlery and stuff like that. So back in the corridor, that is where the mop went. We just have a Henry Hoover caution wet floor sign and a little window here that just looks out on that. Um, oh, nice sunset today. This doesn't come with it. This is actually Cara's that we use to dry our clothes. And then we come to my room, which is 112. They made me this little name tag how cute you use your same key card and just put it in and take it out to get into your room or you can leave it on the latch like i have or you can leave it unlocked so as you come into my room this is what you see First, I'll show you my bathroom. Chilgrove Halls is an ensuite accommodation, so we all have our own bathroom, and it's just here, going like this, and it is an automatic light. The light switches are here, but they're both on at the moment, but this does turn off, so you kind of have to wave your hands about, and sometimes you're in the shower, and it goes off whilst you're in the shower, and you have to kind of wave your hands about outside, so bear that in mind this is what my bathroom looks like if I can get it all in it's just a standard just a standard little ensuite so down here we have your sanitary bin that they change every week I believe and then I just have some bits down there sink standard mirror standard got a little light up here that you can put on which i didn't actually know we had that light until a couple of months ago i just hadn't even noticed it being there before so that 
bit stupid of me but that if you leave that on my shower then there will be no problem with the lights going off whilst you're in the shower because that kind of freaks me out sometimes toilet <laughs> standard don't think i really need to show you in there and then we have the shower which is a really nice little shower actually um i've just got a basket with all of my stuff and a few stuff down there this is the original shower curtain i was worried it was going to be quite um dirty when i first arrived and not very nice and i was going to buy my own shower curtain but this is the original one it's absolutely fine um the shower is just operated here mine's really dirty i am so sorry should have cleaned that beforehand and you just turn it on i'm not going to do it because i will get soaked but you turn it on this way and then you do the temperature like that and it actually gets really hot which is great then you have a toilet roll rail towel rail and then this is my own little thing that i've put all of my kind of uh cleaning not cleaning products but face wash and stuff like that in so yeah it is a nice little ensuite so then this is what i've got on the back of my door i would highly recommend one of these because the wardrobe although it is a nice size wardrobe you might be like me and be addicted to buying coats and <laughs> not have enough space in your wardrobe to put all your coats so this would be a really good thing to put over the back of your door and my door closes fine with this on it we have the heating thing you don't have to pay for your heating because all bills are included in the overall price of the rent however you do need printing credits so here it says i've got 18 pound 22 printing credits you get them from the accommodation office and you simply just put them in and pull them out and then when you run out you go back to the accommodation office and you just get some more so that's fine and then the heater here standard <laughs> i'm gonna say that so much in this video because i just can't say things about some things like some things just aren't interesting then a bin you have a shelf here and this desk with some drawers ignore that pile of laundry after my desk i've been putting that off for weeks now this is what my shelves look like i just have some books on my course and for reading and stuff have these aren't real candles these are lights because we're not allowed real candles as it will set the fire alarm off which the fire alarm will also go off if you leave the shower door open while you shower so i do not recommend doing that because that will be quite embarrassing because the fire brigade gets automatically called i just have some nice photos me and my granny me and my mum and dad got perfume and stuff wine glass gin prosecco gin down here i've got all my uni things and folders um down here i keep just some random stuff in that drawer that i can't find a place for i keep underwear in that one socks in that one and pajamas in that one also look at my slippers they are so adorable this is what i put on whenever there's a fire alarm and i have to slip on some shoes I just slip these on and then go down the stairs like <laughs> yeah and then over here this is where I just keep most of my makeup because I like to separate that from my uni stuff um then the window this is the view I have it's getting dark and it's not a very nice day but that is why am I acting like I know what halls these all are these are all different halls so this is one block that's another block that's another block over the, oh god they're gonna think i'm filming them no no thank you i just have some cards i have more gin my little cactus it's key to have a plant in your university room it just makes it feel more alive and not so dull more cards these are the curtains that came with the room i think they're just plain not an issue really and then I have my own little mirror here that I do my makeup in. Makeup brushes, more makeup. That's my everyday makeup sort of essentials. And then these are all my lipsticks or most of them. Have a ring light here. Oh yeah, and I also have a little 
light over here that I used to do my makeup and just light the room up a little bit more. There's quite a few plugs, two plugs here, two plugs over there. Laptop, other bits, whatever. And then in this top drawer, I have all my hair stuff. This drawer I have random stuff. And then I don't actually have anything in that drawer. This is the wardrobe. Um, this room doesn't come with a long mirror. The only mirror that the rooms come with is the mirror in the bathroom. So I would recommend getting another mirror if you do your makeup or if you wanna check your whole outfit. A long mirror is great for that. So you can actually check what your whole outfit looks like. Inside the wardrobe, it's like this. You just have a braille and that's it. When you first get here, I brought two baskets. So I keep my bottoms and my tops in there. And then I keep dresses, hoodies, coats in there. So I would recommend getting baskets to put in the bottom. It's quite a lot of room can fit two big baskets in there and you can get quite a few things on the rail as well then here you have a pin board so you're not allowed to stick anything over the walls as you can see I don't have anything stuck to my walls but if you get pins and mine did come with a few pins in the corner up there as well so if you get pins you can stick your photos up you can stick work stuff stick little notes up like my mum left me that little note the other day when she came over I just put it up there. Every room comes with one of these blue chairs. I don't really sit on it normally, but it's good if someone else is coming round and they want somewhere to <laughs> sit, I guess. And a bedside table and a bedside table light. And then you have a little space. Oh my God, that is so dusty. That's disgusting. Oh my God, don't look at that. <laughs> you have a little space there and you have a little drawer under here that I literally just keep sweets a hot water bottle um like laundry detergent so that's interesting isn't it i put fairy lights around this as well so when the lights are off obviously the windows open um the curtains are open but it's really cute when the lights are off and then finally you come to the bed it is single beds on campus which i came from a double bed but it's not really a problem. The only issue is if you have a partner um, coming over or a friend or family member, they will have to either squeeze on the bed with you or sleep on the floor. So you choose, I guess. Also, this is my own carpet rug thing. Um, it doesn't come with one, but I just think it makes the room look a bit more lively and then under my bed i just keep all of my shoes some bags i keep an air bed which is great for when people are staying over that's about it hi me again i hope you've enjoyed this video and you have a bit more of an understanding of what is included in the halls at the university of chichester like i said i am living in chillgrove halls on campus if anyone has any questions then just comment them down below and i will answer them for you hopefully i will be posting a lot more videos to come because i do know that i have been away for a very long time purely just because it was Christmas and then it was New Year and then I had loads of work to do and I was working loads and I still am. Um, so hopefully I'm going to be able to balance the two, the three, the four. Hopefully I'm going to be able to balance all the things a little bit better now that I've got back into the groove of university. And I will be able to film and upload more consistent YouTube videos. Enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be <honest. sighs>